it decreases your level of fear. I tell all my clients this. Every day you got to take at least one risk. Starting today. And you're not my clients, but you're guilty by association, so now. <laughs> Every day you got to take one risk. Small risk. Something as simple as when you go to your favorite restaurant, they have two sides to a menu. Okay? Go to the other side. At Cheesecake Factory, they have like 17 pages. You know you go to page 26, go right to the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, I'm gonna have the shepherd's pie, and then when you're done, I'm gonna get my Oreo cookies and cream cake to go. No! You're gonna go to page two, and go to the light, healthy menu, or go somewhere else. And for you men that still have your hair, part it on the left, instead of the right. My hands aren't the same color, if you notice that. That's a, this is my trade part. I, I go to the nail salon and just pick. This one is gonna be one color, and my toes are two different color blues than my hands. Something simple. When I got out of the hospital, I put on red nail polish. It was the quickest thing I could do. And then I moved on. I started ordering different. And then I started changing my hair. And some wigs I have come down to here, and some are up to here. I went through a Marilyn Monroe phase. I'm glad there's no pictures of that, because that was a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> and then it increases your self-esteem. So what takes place is you do something simple. You drive the other way to work. So instead of taking the 215, you take the 15. You take flamingo or whatever it is. Then the next day, you have tea instead of coffee. And the next day, you have soup and salad. <laughs> then, the <ne> then the next day, you call a, a, a small business owner just like you and do a one with one. And then the next day, you warm it up because you're going to end up on the phone with Obama by the end of the year, okay? So you're raising the bar. So this is fear, this is your confidence, and this is fear. And as you do that, it's amazing what happens. And then the next thing you know, someone sits next to you in a Rotary Club meeting and says, I want you to do that speech exactly like that on Monday for my people. And without blinking an eye, spinning, sweating, or anything, you say, sure, what time? And then you come here and you're standing in front of a wonderful group of people. So start small. Okay.